Two months ago, a train carrying environmentally hazardous chemicals derailed in Ohio, putting the local population at risk. However, we rely on these chemicals in order to produce our medicines, dyes, and more. Such is the case for the nitration reaction, a reaction that installs one nitrogen and two oxygens onto a molecule. In industry, this reaction uses harsh acids. However, we know that certain bacteria and fungi perform the same reaction in nature under environmentally friendly conditions. In order to leverage nature's chemistry and develop a greener method to produce these medicines and dyes, I decided to investigate the rules that nature has in place to perform this reaction. Now, specifically, there are two proteins we know of that perform the nitration reaction. I decided to zero in on the lesser studied of the two, a protein called Rough O. As we can see in the central green circle, I was successful in crystallizing Rough O, making it solid. Doing so allowed me to hit the crystal with x-rays, which produced a set of diffraction images from which I was able to pull out structural information. And this methodology worked. I have generated the second ever structure of a protein that performs this nitration reaction. A wise man once said, first is the worst and second is the best. And third is the one with the treasure chest. Or maybe that's something my friend in elementary school told me. But in actuality, being second is a big deal because it's allowed me to look at the core of my protein rough O, the site of where the chemistry actually happens and compare it to that of the first structure. Interestingly, the core of rough O is widely different at key positions compared to the first structure as there are less charges and it's more open. This is highly unusual as proteins with a similar function often have a very similar structure. These results suggest that the nitration reaction is far more complex than we originally anticipated, which may allow us a higher level of control when designing our own reactions. As a next step, I've identified over 50 proteins that may perform this nitration reaction using online searches. These proteins serve as the aforementioned treasure chest. By analyzing this larger set of structures, I'll be able to completely uncover the rules nature has for this reaction. Currently, the nitration reaction used to produce our medicines and dyes follows this industrial route. My research promotes a future where nature's chemistry is leveraged to perform the same reaction, get the same medicines and dyes without the need for environmentally hazardous chemicals. This one's for you, Ohio. Thank you.